What's going on guys? I got a new project. It's a 2001 Honda Civic. The dirty dog is gonna help me. Um, basically I'm gonna tap to do uh, engine swap. The old engine blue. I got this car for a good price. And it's more of a project. I'm not gonna do any heavy modifications. It's in pretty good condition. It's not beat up or anything. It just needs a new engine. So i never done a swap before. I'm gonna attempt it. Got somebody curious already. What the? Alright, so I wrote down a basic list of what to do. You know, breakdown of how I should do it. It doesn't have to be in exact same order. I've never done this before. So do this at your own risk. You got somebody watering my plants over there? Of course. Alright, so first thing to do is yeah, don't mind my chicken, my chicken scratch. Remove the fluids, remove the intake, disconnect the ECM, the harness, spray, spray penetrating fluid on everything. This car has been sitting for about two years, so I gotta try and clean out that fuel tank. I'm gonna be siphon it out. Uh, disconnect the fuel linkage, disconnect and move the power steering pump and AC pump to the side. Uh, once that's, once the engine's out, I wanna detail it. Once I get the new engine, obviously it's going to be used. I want to change the water uh, pump, timing belt, rear main seal, so I won't have any future issues. Um, the reason why the engine is being changed is because uh, a hole blew in the uh, oil pan from the previous owner. I'll show you that, guys. I'll show you that later. So some of the tools that uh, you know I could think of at the moment. It's a Honda, so it's something crazy. Well, first is safety. You want safety glasses, gloves, jack stands, flashlight would help. A lot of penetrating fluid. For example, WD-40, cherry picker to pull the engine out or engine hoist, whatever you want to call it. Floor jack to obviously lift it up. Floor creeper to slide underneath. These Hondas are very simple. They don't need too many sockets. So it's 8mm, 10, 12, 17, which is the weird, these two are the weird uneven numbers. I forgot what size the axle socket is. I want to take that. This may not. Oh, I think it's like 30, 32, 34, or maybe 26. Oh, I'll see. Uh, obviously, a hammer to break apart, um, to break loose ball joints and stuff. Pry bars to help you move stuff. Extensions, three eighths, half inch drive, uh, catch can for your coolant and stuff. Obviously, beer is the main important one. It's a big tool. All drugs aside, do not do this intoxicated. You know, you're working with machinery, heavy stuff, just to keep you hydrated. You know, do this at your own risk. Be safe with everything. This is all for fun and hobby. So yeah, first thing I'm gonna try and do is remove the coolant. All right. It's alive. Connected the, put a booster on the battery just to see what it'll do. 139. Radio. All right, just jacked it up. This is the engine. Just want to show you uh, where I jacked it up from. Never worked on this Civic before, so it's a learning process for me. But I found that underneath, you know, by the subframe, there's a very strong point right here. It has like a like a piece of metal sticking out. Now it's hard to see, but. It's literally next to the um, the O2 sensor, right next to the the front engine mount. It's almost smack dab in the middle, right there. And I <coughs> I uh, set it up on the jacks already. Lowered it down. I'm gonna start draining the coolant. I'm gonna start spraying up, uh, you know, all the things that need to come off the axles, whatever, the ball joints. The uh, motor mounts over here, all the motor mounts. This thing hasn't been moved in like two years, so, you know, just preparing myself. The exhaust needs to come off, I'm going to spray that all down, you know, things like that. Anything you think that is going to, you need to move, let me see what else, I'll keep going at it later. All this has to move out the way. This AC line needs to be moved over. You know, one thing at a time. Don't rush it. This axle 
this tire has to come off. So, yeah, you get the idea. Right now I'm going to start draining the coolant. I'll show you where the petcock is or the drain plug is. Let me see if you could see it, it's right here. What you're going to do is uh, either with your hand, I can't get it, or with pliers. Turn it counterclockwise and you can start draining it with that. Alright, so I'm going to get the jack out the way. Got my floor jacks supporting the vehicle and start draining it. So, we're going to drain the coolant. First thing you want to do is take the uh, cap off. This will relieve the pressure and let it flow out smoother. I don't know how dirty this is. It hasn't been opened in two years. Dun dun dun! I can't even see nothing in there. Yeah. Alright, well, leave that off for now. I cracked this. I cracked the drain plug loose with uh, these pliers. See how it moves? I got lucky. Don't force it. If you see that it's uh, not coming out, just spray it up little by little. Let's see if there's any, even any coolant in here. Oh, yeah, there is. Let's just let that go. And I'll show you in a few where the hole is in the oil pan. So, let me show you why we're changing this engine out. You can tell I'm on the... I'm, on, I'm underneath the car. Alright. It's the AC compressor. This is the front of the car. Now, this is the exhaust. Now, if you look over here, you see this big hole? That's uh, where it blew out. Oh, something fell. Uh, chunks of something. Once I take the engine out, I'll see what it is. But yeah, once your old pan breaks like that, and look, this is above the exhaust. It's not like we hit a. It's not like they hit a pothole or anything. It's kind of just broke. So I'm just curious to see what it is. We're gonna change the engine anyways. So I'll try and turn it over. But probably something with the rod. One of the rods or something. I can't really see in there. But, uh, yep. Drain the coolant. What I did was I lowered it back down. Raised the rear up. That way the, all the coolant could flow to the front of the car. I want to get as much of it out as I can. So that I don't have to spill anything once the engine's coming out. See around here I kind of sprayed some more. I sprayed the O2 sensor. Sprayed all the ball joints. Every, anything I could spray I basically sprayed. Because this car has been sitting for a long time. All right. So I just turned the engine over. It's weird. It's still able to turn over with all that damage underneath. It's probably still no good, but whatever. I'm gonna start to remove the. Uh... Oh, I should have removed the battery, which is the first thing you should do. But it didn't come with one. That's why I never mentioned it. I'm gonna be re removing the brackets, the coolant hoses, uh, probably the intake. All right. 